Hey, what is up everybody? Michael Crump back here again. And today we're gonna to be talking about a brand new release from Echo Stretch and it is finally here. We've got K stuff support now for 10.00 and 10.01. So with K stuff, that means that we're gonna be able to do things like run our PS4 fake package games and so much more. Now, obviously, thanks to all of these people who worked on this project, and let's go ahead and take a look at the release itself. So it says over here that KStuff 1.6.6 was released. So now what we see is, is that we've got full support now available for firmwares 3.00 through 10.01. And if you're wondering, what's the real reason to get on these later firmwares? And that is simply because you can play a ton of games if you have a 10.01 PS5. And I'm talking about, there's probably a couple hundred games that is available now, and that is PS5 retail games. Now, I obviously keep a PlayStation 5 on the very latest hackable firmware so I can make videos. And I thought today that I would show you the best practices from updating a 9.60 all the way to 10.01. Let me show you how to do it right. Now, the very first thing that you will want to do is you'll want to come over here to this URL. And this is all of the official PlayStation 5 firmwares that have been released. Now, the one that we want is going to be firmware 10.01. So you could just come over here and download that via the mega link or this other provider. Once you get that downloaded, you're going to simply take a USB drive and then format it in FAT32 or XFAT, create a folder on it called PS5, and then another folder called update and then put the ps 5 updatepup that you downloaded over here into the update folder. Now, the next thing is, is that I'm sure most folks are using Y2JB, and there is a brand new version of ETA Hen, which just came out, which automatically includes the case stuff for 10.x and some text changes to be a little bit more clear. Now, you can grab that from the official GitHub repo for ETA Hen, and if we scroll down in here, you'll see that just four minutes ago, this release just came out. So again, you should have a USB drive and then a folder called PS5 underscore auto loader. Inside of that, this is the ETA Hen.f file that was downloaded just from right here. I did rename this to a .elf. You can keep it as .bin, but I just went ahead and did it this way. And then inside of the autoload.txt file, it's just a simple ETA hen.elf. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to our PlayStation 5. Okay, so over on my PlayStation 5, I am running a 9.60 machine here. And if I go over here into console information, you can see it right there that this is a 9.60 machine. Now, the first thing that you are going to want to do is to go ahead and get jailbroken. And so if I head over here into media, I can see that I have already installed the Y2JB autoloader. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that loaded up now. And there you can see the autoloader 0.3. And this one is going to be loading up the very latest ETA hen that came out, which is 2.4. Okay, so now once that is loaded, you can see I've got the title IDs up there at the top. And now obviously I could jump over here into the ETA hen toolbox. What you would want to do is you would want to come down here to where it says settings. And then you want to go to the case stuff menu. And then right here, you want to replace K stuff with the latest K stuff from GitHub. So it says right here that it downloads and installs the latest K stuff from Echo Stretch's GitHub repo. And this will replace the ETA hen, which auto loads on startup. Press X on this, and you'll see right there it is attempting to download K stuff successfully downloaded the latest case stuff. And so now you have a case stuff that is not only compatible with 10.00 and 10.01, but any PlayStation 5 firmware version 3.00 through 10.01. 
So now that I've got the proper version of case stuff installed, now I want to go ahead and I want to update this to 10.01. So the very first thing that you will want to do is you will want to reboot your console. As you can see, I no longer have the jailbreak running here. And again, there is no title IDs or anything of that nature. So once you do that, just head over here to settings and ensure you have your USB drive plugged in. And we're gonna go to system and we're gonna go over to system software update and settings. And we're gonna take the option right here to update the system software. And then we're going to update this from a USB drive. And it says the PS5 system software will be updated and your PS5 will restart and start the update. Let's go ahead and press X on that. And if you do try to do this already being jailbroken, it will not work because obviously the PS5's SDK is spoofed. And so it just will not understand what to do with it. And it'll just error out. Now do note here, it does not prompt you about which version you are installing. It just goes ahead and installs it. So again, you really wanna make sure you get the proper file downloaded before you do the update. And then you'll get this screen here which says system software update and that it is installing the update file. Okay, so we can see that the system software has been updated here. And so right after seeing that screen, it popped up stating that the DualSense wireless controller that I am using needed to be updated. So let's go ahead and do that. And it says it is updating the DualSense wireless controller device software. Okay, and it looks like that is complete. So let's go over here to settings and we're gonna go to system, system software, and then console information here. And right there, you can see we are now at 10.01. Now there really isn't anything to do, but just go ahead and go back over to media and let's go ahead and run the Y2JB auto loader again. Okay, so right there we can see it has picked up firmware 10.01 and it is gonna go ahead and load the etahen.f file. So we'll give this just a second or two and right there we're at welcome to kstuff 1.6.6 firmware 10.01. Very, very, very nice stuff. So right off the bat, I can see that I still have all my title IDs. Just like before, if I go to settings here and we scroll down to system, system software and console information, right there it says ETA HEN beta 2.4 and then 10.01. So very nice work to Echo Stretch and to Lightning Mods for having this so compatible. What we could do now is I could go ahead and I could run some of my fake package games here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try PS5 Explorer. And there it goes, root access. And so nice, I'm on a 10.01 PS5 and I'm able to run PS5 Explorer. That is so cool. So let's go ahead and try a fake package game here. I'm just gonna grab Plants vs. Zombies. Yes, this one's been installed because I was planning on playing it, but I haven't gotten around to it because there's been so much fun stuff happening in the scene here lately. But there you go, it looks like everything is loading up. We can see up in the top left-hand corner that we've got the GPU, CPU, RAM, and so forth. So it's gonna be great as the PlayStation scene just keeps maturing. Okay, so there we are. I just want to say thanks to everybody for watching the channel. It's been a really great 2025 for me. I hit over 25,000 subscribers. I just want to thank you so very much for all of that. And here's to an amazing 2026.